Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the cabin. It's uh, Tuesday, February 12th, and uh, just about dark. Um, apparently, we're going to get uh, a little storm tonight. I guess they're calling for around 12 inches of snow, uh, some strong winds, a lot of blowing snow. Um, I guess it's going to be a real nasty night, and uh, looks like there could be some bad driving conditions too. So uh, anyways, well, I don't have to worry about that. I'm not out anywhere, but that's what's going to happen. So right now, I'm just going to make my way to the tractor. I'm going to start the tractor up, make sure that it's running, and uh, uh, make sure that's good, and make sure it's fueled up. Uh, grab some extra firewood, get it inside the cabin, and uh, wait and see what happens. Stick around. Well, I see my uh, my porcupine is back. I got another porcupine in here. Thinks he's going to make his home in here for the winter. And they upset everything. They tear everything down. They chew everything up. Oh, what a what a nuisance. Well, all right, guys, I got everything ready to roll. Firewood's in, and uh, we're all set. I even have the generator running. Uh, not that I need to, but I wanted to start it up because uh, I never start it anymore. Solar batteries are full, but it's good to run a generator once in a while under load. Uh, if you just let them sit for a year or two, uh, yeah, sometimes when, then when you need one, and then it won't start. So it's, it's good to run a generator, uh, you know, start it up and put it under load every, every couple months or so. So I'm doing that tonight. I'm going to run it for about an hour or so and then uh, switch over to solar. Um, yeah, so got everything I need. Uh, I even have storm chips. Yeah, so I got some storm chips. Um, these come highly recommended. I got these uh, in Canada. The, these are from uh, New Brunswick. And... Uh, Let's see here. Yeah, they're made in uh, just down the road from the longest covered bridge in the world in Heartland, New Brunswick. Each batch is cooked with care like great Grammy Leela made them on her wood-fired pot belly stove. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, like I said, highly recommended, so I'm going to give them a try. I have no idea what these are going to taste like. They're actually made with dark russet potatoes and here are the four flavors okay this is the uh, four flavors blended together sweet no smoking sweet barbecue sea salt and vinegar ketchup home style ketchup and creamy dill uh yeah i'm not sure what that's going to taste like together but uh, we're going to find out Uh, yeah. oh, 
Here we go. Ah, uh, um. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, um, I wonder if that one was just extra dill. Oh, man, I don't know. Let me try another one. This one looks more like a barbecue. Um, you know what? They're actually, they're not bad. They're pretty good. I guess you'd have to get used to them. Um, I don't know. And the, the ketchup and the dill, I don't, I don't know. It's not really my thing. Um, anyways, uh, is this a, this might be a Canadian thing. So any of my Canadian viewers, uh, is this a, is this a big thing like ketchup and dill flavored chips and stuff? Anyways, I'm going to wash that down with a PBR and, uh, uh, then I'm going to cook some uh, some real food. And uh, yeah, tonight on the menu, I think I have uh, pork tenderloin and some wild rice. Um, so I'm going to make that up. I'm still going to eat those chips. Oh yeah, I'm not going to let them, I'm not going to let them go to waste. They taste a little different. I think you just got to get used to it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's different. So it's interesting. So uh, anyways, all right. Well, guys, it's uh, 8.30 in the morning, and it's snowing pretty hard here. Whoa, a little slippery, too. It's all uh, it's all ice under the snow, so I got to be uh, got to be careful. But it looks like we got about uh, uh, six inches or eight inches down already. Yeah, that's a lot of snow coming down. Oh, that is slippery too. That's <laughs> uh, all ice under that snow. Well, I guess I'm going to get to uh, really give those chains a workout today on the tractor. You know, I ate that whole bag of uh, storm chips last night. Yeah, I did. I ate the whole bag. Uh, I think I overdid it. Anyway, now... But now I'm going to go cook, uh, I don't know, half a pound of bacon and a bunch of eggs. See if I can get my cholesterol up a little more. While I wait for this snow to stop.
gonna need some coffee but oh yeah that should be a good start to the day I see it's uh still snowing out actually I think the wind's picking up pretty good well, that's gonna be uh that's gonna be a real mess oh mm, bacon mmm Applewood smoked bacon. Man, that's good stuff. All right, well, it's uh, it's just after 10 now, and the snow is really coming down. We got about, uh, about 12 inches down so far, and uh, yeah, it's really nasty out here. Anyways, I'm gonna get the, uh, I'm gonna get the tractor started and uh, try to Try to get at least uh, one pass on the road uh, so I can work my way out of here. I'm not leaving today though, but uh, uh, I want to get the road cleared because I got to get my little girl tomorrow. So, well, there the tractor started. I'll let that warm up. Anyways, it's really nasty out here, man. I hope uh, I'm, I'm reading some reports. Uh, I guess that the the driving conditions are really bad, so uh, I hope everybody, you know, if you're out in this today, geez, I hope you're uh, hope you're staying safe. Drive careful, guys, because it is it is nasty here. Well, I think it's getting worse. It's starting to really blow a lot more. Anyway, I'm gonna gonna get that tractor going. Cut in action. I think it's picking up some. Uh, the winds are really starting to pick up. The winds are blowing really hard now. We'll see how this goes on the tractor. It's times like this. I wish I had a cab on the tractor. Well guys, I've been out for about half an hour and uh, all of a sudden the wind is let up, which is good because then the snow doesn't blow back in my face as much. It's still a bit breezy, but all of a sudden not as bad and the, the snow seems to be letting up. 
not bad though going the snow is um uh, it's got a nice texture to it so it's easy for the the blower to handle it's uh, deep in a few places got some drifts here on the road but nothing the tractor can't handle anyways i'm going to keep going get it done probably take me a couple more hours it's a long way out of here Oh, one mile down, one more to go. But on the way back, the wind's blowing the wrong way, so it's uh, really blowing everything right back in my face. So it might be a long mile. Anyways, we're having fun. Well guys, we made it back. Uh, I think the worst of it's passed now. The snow is let up. Still a bit windy, but not too bad. Anyway, mission accomplished. Well, the Coyote tractor got me through another another blizzard and my 45 year old snowblower. <laughs> Still working good. Anyways, that's it. I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Got to go in and get warmed up, have a coffee, and uh, uh, maybe tomorrow I'll get into town and uh, get this video uploaded. Anyways, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you're new, subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up, and I appreciate the support. Um, definitely leave me some comments below. Uh, look forward to those comments, guys, so keep them coming. Anyways... I'm out of here, and uh, for now, and we'll see you next time back here at the cabin.